Nearly $16 million is what it could cost if Little Friends was to stay in its current location in Naperville's historic district. That number comes from the facility condition assessment conducted by White & Company. The engineering firm the nonprofit hired to evaluate the cost of staying, renovating, or moving buildings on the four-acre property. The cost estimates were uh, just in excess of $10 million in terms of what we would have to invest in the property without any additional expansion. If we were then to expand and, and use some of the available space that we've got and build another, for example, 20,000 square feet, that would add another $6 million to the price tag. But Little Friends, which provides services for people with autism, would rather find a new home. They filed to demolish the four buildings on its campus in July in order to sell it and move to a new facility by next year. The process was stalled by a new amendment to the city's historic preservation ordinance, which requires a third-party analysis before any building is removed in the historic district. Best case scenario would be that we were allowed to move forward and sell our property and to be able to move to new facilities. Sadly, the need for what we do is growing and we've outgrown the facilities we have. Another option the group analyzed was renovating and relocating the historic Crayler Mansion to create a ready for sale mega mansion residence. But that would come at a cost of at least $3.9 million. It's outlived its useful economic life. To renovate it is so substantially cost prohibitive to us. It's not something that we can do, nor in offering it to other entities. No one's wanted to take it and move it. We've offered that as well, and that's not been something that, to this date anyway, no governmental entity has said, okay, I want to do that as well. Now the organization waits for the city to complete its own assessment, which city staff says won't be done for another few weeks. Reporting for Naperville News 17, I'm Christine Lena.